For reasons stranger than I could possibly explain, I needed to make a toolmaker's flat. A toolmaker's flat is very flat. It has two surfaces that look like gauge blocks. You can ring a gauge block to them. I needed to make this. I consulted with Robin Renzetti, and he suggested the size of the groove around the three-inch puck. I went with that. I did the lathe work, and I thought I was home free, except I needed to learn how to heat treat 52100 steel. This was not trivial. I consulted two primary references, papers from the NIST, formerly the NBS, and the book from Knife Steel Nerds, Dr. Laren Thomas, and finally, I came up with something I thought is going to work. This is part one of that story. For the first heat treating test of the Toolmaker's Flat, we're gonna just try it in, in regular atmosphere. Um, this is a, the form of this is a safety clip. I make these all the time out of wire when necessary. Uh, they could be used to safety a bolt, uh, to use with a castellated nut. You could also buy these from McMaster Car, but I just took a piece of regular aluminum rod and I bent it. Um, you could do this too. This takes three bends, you know, one, two, three, and you have yourself a safety clip but in this particular case I sized it so that I, it, it can go into the groove on my toolmakers flat and then it can lock and it's not coming off so I could take this put this in the oven like that okay and then I could reach in with whatever tool I'm using to reach in I can grab it and then I can go dunk it into the quench um, without marring the surfaces which is not super critical because I'm going to be grinding it anyway but I thought you might appreciate this and maybe get something out of it this is a simple wire safety clasp We're getting ready to uh, heat treat the first hockey puck, regular atmosphere. Over here, we've got the uh, controller. Uh, we have programmed 52100, and we can take a look at it. So we're gonna come up to 1200 degrees as fast as possible. We're gonna hold that for 10 minutes. We're then going to ramp up after 10 minutes to 1550. That's the austenitizing temperature. We're going to hold it for 15 minutes. After that, we're going to sound an alarm that the hold is done. And then we're going to allow for five more minutes uh, while the operator gets his act together, just in case. And then we're shutting down, okay, for safety. So the operator has to be around, but the operator will be notified. It'll come out of the oven while wearing appropriate safety gear with this hook, okay? We're gonna grab it, we're gonna lift it. It's gonna go right into the quench. It will be agitated in the quench, okay? And then when we come out of the quench, when it's basically room temperature, it's gonna go down to a bucket of soapy ice water. This is ice, regular old water ice, okay? And it goes out of the quenching oil into soapy ice water. It will be cleaned and pre-cooled, okay? There's our liquid nitrogen. This is our liquid nitrogen container, okay? It will be put into this container and then it will be filled with liquid nitrogen once that's done this lid goes on and it gets ignored i mean we'll check it every now and then and then tomorrow we'll take it out of liquid nitrogen we'll go over it for a temper we'll bring it up to 250 degrees so i bought this um 
stainless steel cage and I specifically bought it so that I can put something big in it and, and agitate it but also it serves as a safety uh, in case I dump the part in here I can still get it out without much histrionics this thing was a little expensive but it's nice it's got these little swing out arms so that it could it could be propped up just like this okay and it can drain which is pretty nice so this is part of my system probably <laughs> believe it or not this is probably the most expensive part of my whole system <laughs> so in about 25 minutes we've hit um the region of 1550 we're going to be holding this now for 15 minutes and then we're going to go into the quench and i've got my best helper so the reason we use quenching oil specifically is that the vapors from quenching oil is designed to not be uh, super flammable okay so that when we plunge the red hot steel into the quenching oil we don't get a ball of flame that's what makes quenching oil quenching oil plus it is the right viscosity and composition so that it quenches it at a certain rate this is known as 11 second quenching oil which is the faster of the quenching oils and it's uh, specifically called out for in this particular heat treating process for 52100. a little warm. like it. Okay. Let's get it into the uh, chamber. So dry it off a bit.
I'm gonna use a little air just to blow it off. So we're gonna give it a minute, let it stop boiling, top it up as much as we can. And that's the end of the drama. Came out pretty good. So the cryo treatment is gonna go um, overnight. We'll just leave it alone. And then tomorrow we'll come back and we'll do the temper. Now the temper that we're gonna do is called the first temper. So we'll bring it up to 250 degrees for a relatively short period of time like one hour and then it comes back down to room temperature and it's ready for uh, surface grinding after surface grinding but before lapping we'll give it second temper which is 250 degrees fahrenheit overnight like nine hours and then when it comes down from that uh we'll be good to lap let's take a look see how we're doing here Still boiling. Yes, yes, use the energy. All right, let it, I'm gonna let it go for a while here. And uh, then we'll top it up. This is coming down at its own pace, okay? You leave it closed. This is what this is what keeps the oven uh, happy. We don't shock it. We leave it alone. Our quenching oil, uh, we're done with it. I don't have to take out the the cage right now. I'm gonna leave the cage in there. I was very happy. I was worried that the cage wasn't gonna fit. So the quenching oil is sealed. And we put our safety in. Now the only thing left hanging around is that bucket of uh, soapy water. So let's go back and check on our liquid nitrogen. Oh, look, it stopped boiling. That's good, you can see it. So we're gonna top it up and uh, be ready for the overnight. One more shot in there. Okay, that's it. See you tomorrow. Doink.